Michael, new tonight. A national organization wants the IRS to investigate a religious group in our state it claims violated a federal law. It states such groups cannot endorse a political candidate. News 9's John Jordan joins us with more. Well, just to be clear, the leader of Reclaiming Oklahoma for Christ, Pastor Paul Blair, says even though the group sent out an email titled Rally for Sally for Republican Sally Kern, he says it was in no way an endorsement. And even if it was, Blair says constitutionally, he would be well within his rights. We ask that you bless our efforts. Lord, you're, you're so awesome, I cannot begin to fathom your greatness. Pastor Paul Blair has quickly become one of the state's most controversial pastors, most notably for saying this back in 2008. I will be casting my vote in November for the patriot John Sidney McCain. Amen. We would, however, like to thank you for the service. Of Federal law clearly states tax-exempt organizations like Blair's Edmund Church are absolutely prohibited from endorsing a candidate. And now Americans United for Separation of Church and State say Blair violated federal law again, this time when his organization reclaiming Oklahoma for Christ endorsed Representative Sally Kern when the group sent out this email titled Rally for Sally. But while the title may seem like an endorsement, Blair says it wasn't. We haven't done anything. We didn't endorse. We didn't uh, underwrite. We did nothing. It was just a, an information piece that we sent out. Even if it was an endorsement, Blair says whether it's through an email or preaching from the pulpit, constitutionally, he has every right. The First Amendment guarantees my right as a pastor to proclaim truth in here and not have the government tell me what I can and cannot talk about. But that's not the way the law reads today. And Bruce Prescott, the executive director of Mainstream Baptist and a religious radio talk show host, says more important than what the law says is the impact endorsing candidates could have on religion. My major concern is is that every time the church has ever been involved in politics, it has been to the detriment of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But Pastor Paul Blair says when there are issues affecting Christians, it's his job as a pastor to make them aware of it. We are going to always address uh, issues that affect our culture. If there's issues that pertain to morality in our culture, we are going to address those. Amen. And so far, the IRS has never taken action against Blair's church or organization. And even if they were and decided to take away their tax-exempt status, Blair tells me he would continue to preach. In fact, he says he would preach even harder. Ed? Well, John Blair maintains that historically in America, pastors have played the key role in stirring the hearts of America toward liberty. And it wasn't until the 1954 Johnson Amendment to the IRS Code that any restrictions were placed on free speech in churches.